Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love connection reading for June. Can you believe we're in June already? This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, this is going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together. Um, you can be together, you can be separated, ex, someone you like, crush, whatever your situation is, but you do have to at least know each other. That's my intentions uh, with this reading. You can be still single, however that resonates for you. I do have singles readings on my uh, channel also. If you're interested in reading those, you can find them below in the description box under the love uh, playlist. And those also are intended for singles, also singles looking for new love, wondering when they're going to meet their next love. And I know we're in quarantine right now, so these readings aren't necessarily specific to the exact month. It's timeless. I do consider them timeless, even though they're dated. So if you'd like to go watch the singles reading, if you are single, you can go watch that too if you like to. And you can check the description box below for all the information you need. Me, uh, private readings, decks I'm using, tons of stuff down there. Go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And those who are new, welcome. And if you'd like to join the family, please subscribe and uh, hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about four or five readings a month. And they're all different. So if you do, thank you. So, Scorpio, we're going to take a look at your love connection. We're going to pull a Zodiac card. We're going to pull an opening message, opening message on your love connection. Then we're going to pull some cards, uh, more cards, one for you, one for them. How are you both feeling about each other, the connection, one for the mutual energy of the connection, and that's just with the Oracle. Then we'll get into the Tarot, and we'll clarify that energy, and then we'll look at the actual situation between the two of you. Advice, possible outcome, and then I always go over the energy at the bottom of the deck. And then we'll pull some angel answers at the end for more um, messages, clarity. So welcome, Scorpio. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe at this time and healthy. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. And uh, it could be past, present, or future also, so please keep that in mind. Time is fluid. You could switch the energies all around. If you need to, and only take what resonates, don't try to make it fit. If it's not fitting for you, it's not your story this time. I'd say go back, watch past readings, or hold out for uh, future readings. So let's see, with the Zodiac Oracle here, you could we could get a sign, planet, element, see what some of you may be dealing with. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. So we have Aquarius. So some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius in some way, shape, or form. Or you could have Aquarius in your chart, Aquarius in their chart, someone rising or Venus. But Aquarius does represent the star in the tarot, which and the fool. To me, it represents the fool too, which is about going on a new journey. And the star represents about having faith, hope, optimism, uh, wishes and dreams coming true. It's very healing, divinely uh, guided energy. So, And we have 11 for Aquarius, which is about being on the right path. So we'll see how this plays into your reading. And I hope there isn't a glare. I have a new camera. So it's a little hard to see. Um, I got a lens on it for the um, angle. So I can't see the uh, screen from here. So I hope there isn't a glare. Okay, so Scorpio, let's get one for your opening love message on you and your connection. Whoever Scorpio was thinking about at this time for this reading, for this love connection reading, for Scorpio, please, someone rising Venus, male or female, for the general collective. We have two there, I just want one. What is this? Is a new deck. This is the uh, Magdalene deck. All right, so let's see. Opening love message for Scorpio for their love connection. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. We'll take that one. And we have illumination. So this is a good energy. So that means something is being illuminated in this connection. Whether it's you, whether it's them, whether it's the both of you, uh, illumination is, you know, having clarity, um, perspective, clarity, uh, things coming to light. So either them, you, or the both of you are coming to light. Something could be becoming illuminated about this connection, whether it's how you feel about each other or something about the connection here. Something will come to light. So we'll see how that plays out. So let's get one for you, Scorpio, and one for your person, and then one for the mutual energy. Scorpio, I'm going to put you here, your person here, how you're feeling about each other in the connection. 
But at any time, like I said throughout the reading, you feel like you need to switch the energies, please do that. Only take the parts that resonate. Every little thing I say may not be your situation, so please keep that in mind. All right, one for you, one for them. I'm going to take the bottom of the deck for the mutual energy. And we'll see what we have here. So let's see how you are feeling about them in the connection. So we have war and peace. So there might have been some struggles and battles between you. Um, you know, maybe it's a very up and down relationship or you feel it is with them. It's very up and down. Maybe there's a lot of bickering, conflict. You know, maybe you, you have conflict, you fight, you argue or bicker or whatever, but then you always make up. So it's kind of like that back and forth energy of, you know, breaking up, making up, breaking up, making up, maybe here. So let's see how your person is feeling. Mother Mary. So this is, um, of course, Mother Mary. So she is a divine protector. She's a guiding light. She's a protector. She's a healing force. Um, so I feel like your person knows that this is a divinely guided connection. It's um, being protected by the universe, by higher beings, higher source. And, you know, whether or not they know it's Mother Mary, I don't know. But I definitely know they probably, your person could be spiritual or they think you are uh, very spiritual, divinely connected, um, believing in source, believing that this is divinely protected, guided um, energy. So that could have been what's been uh, illuminated to them. So let's see what the mutual energy is here. So we have co-creation. So this is an energy of wanting to work together. So you definitely want to work this out together. You know, even if there's a lot of back and forth energy, you know, fight, make up, fight, make up. You know, the other one believing, you know, this is my person. This is a divinely guided connection. Um, and wanting, you know, the mutual energy here is to want to, you know, work this out. You know, to co-create together. You know, healing, transforming, um, transcending so that's a good energy so let's uh, clarify all this energy and that's also called creation of the universe and I did feel that energy of the universe uh, protecting this divinely guiding this as with that star energy so the Aquarius there could just represent the star energy of that faith hope optimism wishes dreams coming true um, healing energy divinely guided energy so we'll see Let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio, or Scorpio, if you feel like there's been, you know, tension between the two of you, there's been a falling out, you just want peace in the situation. Or if there has been a lot, you just, you know, you don't want that anymore, you just want peace. So how that resonates for you. So let's clarify this energy for you, Scorpio. Let's clarify this energy for Scorpio. What is all this energy about for Scorpio? Let's get about, oh, let's see, let's get about four cards for Scorpio in my chair. And there's, sorry, I need to get a new office chair. <laughs> let's get one more, one more for Scorpio. So let's take more energy into how you're feeling. So we have the Eight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So the Eight of Cups is an energy of walking away, but you can always return, you know. And the Wheel is divinely guided energy. So again, the Wheel is fate, destiny, divinely guided energy, um, things getting better, things going in the right direction. So again, I'm, I'm getting that energy of, you know, the Wheel is a constant movement going around. So I feel like you always come back around to this person. So as many times as you might have walked away from each other, again, you know, without war and peace, it seems like the wheel always brings you back together. Uh, the wheel always brings in what's meant for you most of the time. But it is, you know, fate, destiny, you know, things getting better, things going in the right direction. So let's see how your person is feeling. So we have the high priestess and the sun, and I felt that. I felt that. So the wheel of Sagittarius, so I'm going to mention other signs. So if I mention the sign, great. If I don't, that's fine. It's all energy, so it can be, you know, whoever here. But the high priestess is uh, Pisces, and the sun is Leo. So the, your person, again, got intuition, higher knowing, divinely connected to source. And the sun is that, you know, healing energy, 
it's, here's the lovers in the sun. So it's very healing. It's um, enlightenment, illumination. Things become illuminated with the sun energy. So your person, again, is trusting in source, and they know it's divinely protected, guided. You know, the sun is a very positive card. It's the most positive card in the deck. So they want nothing more than to have this, you know, two lovers in the sun, you know. Enlightenment, illumination, uh, success, victory, healing, a happy home and family. You know, it's the most, most positive card in the deck. So let's just get one for this co-creation for the mutual energy. For the mutual energy here for you, Scorpio. The Two of Cups, yeah. Co-creation. You definitely want to co-create here. Two of Cups, soulmate, soulmates coming into union here. Two of Cups. So that's co-creating this Two of Cups, this Two of Cups soulmate union. You definitely want that. I feel like as many times as either you walked away or they walked away from you because of, you know, bickering, arguing, or whatever, you always come back to each other. Always. All right, so let's get your actual situation, see if we can see what is going on. You Scorpio, actual situation for Scorpio, please. Actual situation for Scorpio. So you have the two of wands. So this is, you know, making... Being at a crossroads, but it also can be about making plans and decisions for the future. So we definitely have two, two. So twos are about unity, partnerships, king of swords. So that is um, Gemini, king or queen, doesn't matter. So, you know, the king or queen of swords, some, you know, is an energy of having total clarity, total illumination, uh, cutting away energies not serving, standing up, not backing down, telling it like it is, clear, open, honest communication kind of energy. Four swords. So rest, healing, rejuvenating, retreating. So again, I'm feeling, you know, two of wands being at a crossroads, making plans, decisions, but the king of swords, you know, again, the swords can be kind of cold cutting sometimes. Um, so again, getting that energy of swords is a lot, a lot of mental activity. So again, I'm feeling, you know, the king of swords there. There were times where you cut them in and out of your life. Um, again, maybe cold words were said between you, uh, which left you at a crossroads about this connection. I don't know what to do. You know, you're wanting to make plans moving forward, but yet we have disagreements. You know, could be minor things, major things, whatever they are for you. And then, you know, retreating from one another and... Um, Spending time alone to heal and think and contemplate. It's falling under your energy. So, um, I mean, your disagreements could be about children. They could be about different viewpoints on religion, spirituality. Um, I don't know. Whatever your situation is, only you know that. So, it's, so like I said, it's a general collective reading. So, don't always get the details. So, let's see. Yeah, the world here. Getting for your person. So... The world can be about closing out cycles, starting new cycles. It can be about closure. It can be about um, starting over, starting new, travel, distance. All right, the World Wide Web. And we have the Five of Swords. So let's get one more. So the world is fixed energy. So that can be Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Get one more here for the situation. And the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is always kind of like a single energy. So this person definitely is single. I don't think they have anybody else. I don't know if, um, I don't even have any threes here. So I don't know if, you know, there's been in and out energy bickering because maybe you think they have somebody else. If you think that, I say no because I have the Nine of Pentacles. Very single energy here. So I figure, I feel we're not talking about like a married couple or anything like that. Um, it could be just a very in and out energy of we're together, we're not together. But, um, you know, the five swords energy can be that energy, you know, is this a losing battle? Should I give up? Should I keep fighting? Um, kind of energy, that energy also one-upping one another kind of energy. So I feel like, I feel like your person is stable and grounded, secure, on, all on their own. They're very independent kind of energy. I don't think they have anybody else. Um, I think they're only concentrated on you. 
because you see this person here cutting like her hair, like just wanting every piece of her. So I feel like her or him. So this person only wants every piece of you. I don't feel like they have anybody else. But then they don't know whether or not to close this out for good or start over, start fresh, start new, to keep fighting for it, to keep, you know, or just lay down and give up because maybe of all the bickering, arguing, or jealousy, or whatever is going on here. So they're in this energy of the world. That's a mutual energy kind of like between you is, you know, needing to think about this. Can we start over, start fresh, start new, gain closure of some sort, or do we just finally close this up for good and move on kind of energy? But I see you both see each other as a divinely guided connection, especially with the sun, the high priestess, and then the wheel over here, and wanting to co-create together, but there's just whatever your issues are, needing to really get over them, close them out for good. Um, so that we can move forward. So let's see what your advice, guidance, and I feel like the universe is trying to illuminate to you um, the truth of the situation, this connection that's divinely guided. All right, so let's see, let's see, Scorpio, advice, or oh, that's way too many, advice, guidance for Scorpio, and this connection. The lovers here. Now I do see two people in that. It is falling under you. And I felt that. I feel like maybe you feel like they have somebody else or they cheat or, you know, whatever here. So we have Justice and we have the Queen of Wands. So the lovers is Gemini again. Justice is Libra. The Queen of Wands here could be Aries. Let's get one more for your advice or guidance. One or two, let's see what we get. Take these two. Wow, two nines here. A lot of nines here. Nines are always a single energy. So we've got the nine of cups. So again, this is wish fulfillment. Dreams of wishes coming true. Um, happiness and joy. But we got stress, fear, worry, and anxiety about this connection. A lot of nines on their side. Again, nines a single energy. So I feel like they don't have anybody else. They're just totally concentrated on you. But, you know, they have stress, fear, worry, anxiety about this. Uh, Queen of Wands, very fiery, passionate energy. You know, you could be embodying this energy or you're thinking maybe they're involved with a fire sign. Uh, I don't think they are. I think they only have <laughs> fire and passion for you. King or queen doesn't matter here. So, you know, justice here is about truth, clarity, you know, balancing out the scales, you know, divine justice. So this is definitely uh, the lovers here, soulmate, twin flame energy, soulmate, getting soulmate energy. So I think Spirit wants you to know this is a soulmate energy, and they're trying to serve you justice, trying to show you the justice of this connection. But I think you have fears and worries that they're interested or they have somebody else, could be like a fire sign or maybe a Gemini. But no, they, they are only concentrated on you because we got the Nine of Cups here, which is that water energy. And you're a water sign. Stress, fear, worry, anxiety. They want every little part of you. They don't want anybody else. They want to serve you the justice that you deserve. If you can get over your either jealousy or fear or worries of them either interested or being a player, you know, in other people or having somebody else. I don't think that's the case here at all. All right, so let's see what the possible outcome can be here for you, Scorpio, Scorpio, and also Aquarius is an air sign. So again, that's air is all about the mind, thoughts, ideas, illusions, uh, truth, clarity, communication. So let's see what the possible outcome could be here. So we got the two of swords. We have the four of wands. There's my soulmate twin flame card. And we have the king of wands. Now we have a matching couple, king and queen of wands. Doesn't matter of the suit. Still a matching, matching divine couple soulmate. Now we got the twin flame card, but there's indecision here. And I feel like it's going to be you still having indecision about this connection. But it's a matching couple there, right? I just placed the king on the queen. This is a divine couple here for you, uh, Scorpio. One more, the possible outcome here, for Scorpio. So we have the Knight of Pentacles energy here. 
So we have the King of Wands, which could be um, Sagittarius. I don't do the Knights. I just do... Well, actually, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles could be uh, Taurus. So there's an energy here of, you know, being indecisive, but there is commitment on the table here. Commitment, marriage, coming together, solidifying something here with the Four of Wands, being more stable. King of Wands, you know, you see him taking him, taking him, her, taking the other in their arms. And then moving forward slowly, uh, smart, practically, uh, a lot of practical energy, smart, smart, cautious, wise, stable and grounded, slow movement forward. So I do see a coming back together here after a time of being indecisive to stabilize this connection, but moving forward very slowly, being smart, practical and wise, so we can be stable and grounded moving forward, making wise decisions. That's the energy I see, um, you know, being very cautious and um, practical. So let's uh, go over the bottom of the deck. I'm going to take about five from the bottom, see what we have here. So we have the five of pentacles, the chariot. So there's that pa positive movement forward. That's cancer. Here's Taurus with the hierophant commitment. Ace of swords. There's a brand new beginning based on truth, clarity. And the Three of Cups, so here's reuniting, coming back together, celebrating. So I do see the Five of Pentacles energy, again, of that energy of in and out, in and out, you know, kind of energy. You know, coming together and then ghosting or, you know, because the Chariot is positive movement forward, but the Pentacles, Five of Pentacles is about being left out in the cold. So it's like that in and out energy again. But the Chariot would overtrump the Five of Pentacles. So there's always a coming back together and striving to make positive movement forward. Uh, victory, balance, to what? Commitment here. Commitment, marriage, uh, doing what's moral, just, and right, faith, spirituality, higher levels of learning, spiritual learning, understanding. And there's, there's the Divine Clarity card with the Ace of Swords. Divine Clarity, um, truth, justice, you know, cutting away energy is no longer serving. Open, honest, truthful communication. Three of Cups. So again, I'm getting that fear of, you know, third party involvement. But the Three of Cups to me is always about reuniting, celebrating, coming back together kind of energy. So I do see it coming back together, having the victorious new beginning with truth and clarity, possible commitment, marriage, or leveling up in some way, positive movement forward, even though there's been a time of in and out energy here. I do see this coming together. And again, the fear of the third parties. But the truth of the matter is no, they just want positive movement, commitment, whatever with you and leveling up. And they're tired of the ghosting uh, back and forth. That's kind of what I'm getting with that energy. So let's get some let's get some angel answers for you in this connection. The Scorpio. Let's get some angel answers for Scorpio. This is closing. Messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female for the general collective. Closing messages for Scorpio on this connection. They only want you, Scorpio. Only want you. There's nobody else. They're tired of the in and out, back and forth, fighting, bickering, bickering, arguing, jealousy, whatever. They're they're tired. They're tired of that. War, peace, just. I feel like, you know, you're tired of that too. <laughs> War, peace, like, energy. So, yes, see that? I'm telling you, yes, they only want you. The answer is yes, they only want you. Okay, let's get a few more. Scorpio. And it's a yes with an exclamation point. So, <laughs> wow. Okay. Improving health. So I just feel like this connection will be improving in all ways. Success. Wow. Yep, very successful connection, one from the bottom. Choose a new direction. So I'm, I'm feeling here, um, they don't want to take a new direction. You may force them to do that here. If we can't improve this and have success and come together here and co-create together, you know, I don't think they want to, but you may force them to. Um, yeah, because the next one here is compromise. And that's a co-creation. So definitely compromise here, co-creation. They don't want to choose a new direction, but you may force them to unknowingly, uh, and they don't want to do that. So also choose a new direction. So this can be successful and improve. Compromise, yes, they only want you. So a whole new way of being uh, in this connection, transforming, transcending, 
uh, healing, again with that star energy, with Aquarius, healing, faith, hope, optimism. This is a soulmate twin flame energy here, definitely, uh, Scorpio. So there's no need to worry. I'm surprised we didn't get that card. Um, I said no need to worry, but then I got no. So I was looking to see if that card would come up. So, yeah, there's no need to worry. They only want you, and the answer is yes, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.